Hey YouTube, Small Text Review here. And today I'm going to show you if we can connect an SSD to a Samsung Galaxy S8. Now, what I mean by that is I have this enclosure here, and as you can see, it is USB Type C to USB Type C. And uh, I want to I want to see if it'll allow me to be able to read what I have on here on my Galaxy S8. Because it'd be a huge convenience for me to just transfer a lot of uh, huge uh, items that I have on here, such as videos or movies that I like to watch, um, even pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Now, what I have here is the, the Oyen Digital Mini Pro. Now, I got this on eBay. Um, I, was, I was in the market for an SSD just like this, especially with the uh, USB 3.1. Uh, this claims to be Gen 2, so, you know, that's what I was in the market for, and uh, I went ahead and got it, but I just wanted to check it out to see if it works on this uh, Samsung Galaxy S8. Is, you know, they now have uh, Type-C connectors on them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if uh, it'll allow me to, uh, to view anything or transfer anything. Now, I do want to show you uh, that on here, there is an on and off switch. Right now, it is on the on position. That's the off, and then going switching it to the on position. Uh, you will see an LED right there where my finger is at, uh, a, a little white LED, and that's just an uh, indication that it is on. And on here is a DC input. So what, we're going to go ahead and get started right now, and uh, I'm just going to unlock my device, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right now. All right, solid connection there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have a third party app that I downloaded as file manager here. And uh, on here I don't see anything. Uh, it did refresh right here. This is the internal storage and here we have the micro SD. I do have a 128 uh, gigabyte Samsung Evo uh, micro SD card. And that's what I have on there. Of course when it's formatted it's at 119 gigabytes. Um, and it's just uh, the internal storage and right now I don't see anything to indicate that I am reading anything off of here the LED, LED light is on but I don't see anything on here I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a few things on here uh, no there's no option there and as you can see the local storage it's just the internal and the micro SD if I had anything else it would definitely show up but I'm gonna do one more thing on here just to see if it, it will work so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and as you can see there is a DC input so I do have a DC input here uh, that I use on a different device when you buy this it does not come with one uh, I just so happen to have one because I'm using a USB 3.0 hub uh, for my iMac here and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna plug it in because it it does fit so it's a great thing all right so we do have it plugged in and what I'm gonna do now is I am going to go ahead and give it a shot again uh, to plug in uh, you know the the uh, enclosure here the SSD so I went ahead and plugged it in. It is on. LED is on. And I'm just going to go to this file manager. And I don't see anything. So unfortunately it does not work. And here is, you know, one thing that um, I did notice was that the LED didn't turn on when I plugged that in. I don't know if it's supposed to or not. But I do want to show you that it does work that that plug does work see so I unplug it it's still on all right so as you can see nothing does work um, I did I did plug this in here uh, didn't give it extra juice or anything like that and uh, so unfortunately um, you know I wasn't able to make this happen um, so if you have any questions feel free to leave any comments down below um, you know I wish I could have connected it make things a lot easier would have been very awesome to to have something new like this um, 
But uh, like I said, just feel free if you have any comment, uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next review.